Hello guys and welcome to my next Let's Play. I'm going to show you Sir, so You're Being Haunted. It's a game brought to you by Big Robot Studios and it came out about, I think, one year ago in Steam Early Access. And some weeks ago it seemed to release and currently we are at version 1.2. So I haven't played the game for quite a while, so I'm very curious about what the new content is and what to expect. And I guess we just start right away into the game. We will create a new world. Um, as you probably have heard already, it's a survival game. And you're basically hunted by robots. So that's the setting of the scenario we have to face in a few moments. So, okay, let's start a game. First we can choose our profession. That means basically our starting equipment. Um, the aristocrat was or is the default profession, that means we just start off with bandages. That's very brutal for the beginning. And we can also choose some others, of course. Uh, one easy one would be the officer. You have a gun right from the start and... Yeah, well, I'd, I would not just ha suggest that because, after all, it's more of a stealth and run and hide game than a shooter. Okay. So, let's start with the Aristocrat. So, the map we are playing on is basically split up in four islands. That means, um, in this archipelago you have a center island where you start and spawn. Um, you have four islands around this one that you can reach later in the game by boat. And now for this islands we can say we want a different setting, like an industrial setting or some mountains or fans or some rural areas. Um, you can't change it for the center island there. So I guess I I'm fine with that. Let's maybe, yeah, let's take some castles as well and start right away. Sir, if you can hear this, then the experiment has gone terribly wrong. I fear you may be trapped on the archipelago, but don't panic. The standing stones should be nearby. With them, and some luck, you may still be able to escape. Listen very carefully, and you might just survive. I am afraid pieces of the device are now scattered across the islands. They became quite hot during the experiment, so perhaps you could look for the smoke. Bring any you find back to the standing stones, then we should be able to get you home. I'm dreadfully sorry, sir, but this does mean postponing dinner preparations. I do hope you remember to eat something. You must try to keep your strength up. Perhaps some tea and biscuits from one of the nearby houses? The residents won't mind because they're... well, they're not at home. Oh, and do be careful, sir. You are being hunted. Okay, so here we are. Um, the guy you heard were our, was our, or is our butler, I guess he's called Walter, and he explained us the basic scenario, what we are in. So it means we have to collect these fragments of the device, uh, put it to this standing stone, and then we are free to go, and out of this archipelago. So, problem is, the fragments are scattered around everywhere, not only on the center island, but also on the others as well. So it's quite a long way. So first off, I want to show you um, the the heads-up display. On the bottom left, you can see your visibility meter as well as the health, and you can also see the vitality. The vitality is something that slowly drops, and if it's below zero, you start to lose health. And vice versa, if it's quite high, let's say about about 80%, you start to regenerate if your health is down. So it's basically 
an indicator um, if your health would go up or down or stay neutral. So to keep vitality up, we need to eat. That means we have to find food through our way. And you can see it drops down pretty fast. So you're quite under a pressure not to starve to death. So, and I already can hear some robots. You can tell by the nose they are making the noise. Okay, but let's just loot this guy. It's a dead robot. Ah, very useful. Now you can observe your pursuers while keeping a safe distance. Okay. So let's just stay here, hidden behind the wall, uh, the rock. And yeah, above here you can see the compass, and right down here you can see what current item is selected, etc. You have an inventory screen where you can just manage your inventory and your items. And here you have the equipment slots where you can put your items in and have quick access to them. Like, let's disable and I scroll through. And for example, I can throw a bottle for distraction purposes, but I won't do that now. But we can look through the binoculars like that. They are very useful. Okay, let's just take one or the first fragment in the game. It's just right here. You can see the smoke coming out of it. So this is one indicator of where a fragment lies. Another one are those small pixies flying around. You can see one of them up here. They're always close to fragments or want to get close to them. So you might want to follow them. Okay, so let's take it. Excellent. You've found Return that fragment to the standing stones and leave it there. You'll be one step closer to home. All right, so we bring it back to the standing stone here. We can activate it. And here is also where we can save the game. That means throughout the game, you can't just save right away if you want to. You have to be at the standing stone or you have to travel with the boat and have a loading screen between the islands to save. So this makes the game a lot harder. So you start here right away at your last save if you died from a shot or something. And so you really have to be careful and save a lot and travel back here to the stone or to your boat. So let's activate this one. Splendid. But do be careful finding the next one. And save the progress. Okay, so the game is saved now. We can start here. Oh, look at that beautiful lightning effect. It's amazing. And a balloon. <laughs> they are very dangerous as well. They will spot you and give alarm. Yes, he just mentioned that it's basically a stealth game and you avoid, or you want to avoid the robots at any time. Of course you can gun them down if you find enough ammunition, if you're lucky. It is possible, I've done that a lot, <laughs> to stay alive. But it's not the way the game is meant to be played. And it got a lot harder, since throughout the game there will be more uh, patrols and robots overall. So at some point it just won't be possible to, to have some uh, gunfights going on without pulling too much attention. Okay, but for now we want to, fi uh, to visit our first village over here and try to get some loot, maybe. Okay. Um, there's a cathedral or a church. Ah, oh, just a church. And now we can get there and try to search the houses. You can't get in, unfortunately. That's one of the issues or complaints that many players have about this game. For me it's fine though, because um, I really don't need to have some some indoor levels or indoor structures. It's not necessary for me, it's fine like the way it is. But I can understand that many people want to enter the houses and hide from robots there, maybe. Or discover something new. For the moment they're just like inventory screen screens, so you go to a house. You try to find a door, and then the hand icon appears, it and you can loot like it. There's something useful in there. 
Oh, and if you find anything edible, don't look at it too closely. Yeah, and besides lots of junk, you can find something useful from time to time, like something to eat or a weapon or whatever. So maybe a torch or a flashlight. So let's get through and have a look before petrol arrives. Oh, here we have an apple. And a flashlight. Okay. Let's move on. Some bandages, that's useful. Then also keep in mind these houses always have back doors where you can get some loot as well. So if you can't get on the main street because there are too many robots, you try to stay here. Oh, an axe! An hatchet, very weapon. nice. Do be careful with that. I really think violence is best left to the experts. So you heard that noise. I think he spotted me for a moment. But I did not see him. So at the moment we are perfectly hidden. If the eye disappears on the down left, you are almost invisible. Except they are very close, like one feet away. Okay, but we have a hatchet, our first weapon, that's very useful. That means we can defend ourselves against, I would say, one or two robots. Okay, now I hear lots of them coming in, so I might want to get away now. Um, what I do first is trying to get to the coast. Oh, there's a fragment. And it's unguarded. But well, usually fragments are guarded by two robots, maybe some dogs as well. But in this case we are lucky. These kind of fragments you can only find on the central, central island, because on the smaller ones every fragment is guarded usually. So we could get back now to the standing stone, save the fragment and our game. And I guess that's what we are going to do next video. But let's just loot this first. Oh, some pack of mints. And some matches to make fire. Okay, if we need to cook some raw meat. Alright, so I think that's, that's all for this video. Um, next time we will go try to find our way around back to the standing stone. Save the fragment and then head to the coast again. And... I guess what we want to do first is go to one of the smaller islands. That are a bit more interesting. And you can find some more loot there. For example, here we have a boat that we can take. It's very close, so that's a nice map. Okay, see you guys.